Another day, another dunk. Let's go and check out these sneakers. This video is sponsored by the good people over at Addict. Addict is the fastest and most reliable iOS bot. They support over 85 sites, including Adidas, Supreme, Yeezy, Undefeated, Kith, Bape, and many more. Addict very rarely restock, and when they do, they sell out almost immediately. And for the best chances of securing your copy of Addict, make sure to sign up at addict.io to get an instant notification on when they do restock. You can also click the link in the description to sign up. They will only have a certain amount of copies before the next bot will sell out so make sure you are quick when you are notified when they are back in stock and with all that being said let's get into the video so what's going on everybody i'm josh salvador and welcome back to another investment insights and resale predictions video today's sneaker of the day is going to be the nike dunk low in the unlv colorway the university red sneaker and yeah with all that being said let's go and check out the release info everything that you need to know how to cop and where i see these sneakers performing in the resale market and if there's any investment potential with these sneakers Let's get into it. Let's get all the release info out of the way. These sneakers are going to be releasing today, January the 14th, for a retail price of 100 USD, or if you live in Australia, that's 140 Australian dollars. And yeah, I really think that these sneakers are going to be big. I'll get more into the resale prices later on in the video because they have been pretty surprising. But yeah, let's talk more about the sneaker. As for the release dates of these sneakers, I've seen that they've actually been postponed a little bit. I, I think in parts of America or Asia, like, you know, they've been taken down. And then, you know, I do think that a release date for those regions are to be decided. But I think that they've already released in Australia because a ton of sneakerheads here in Australia have been getting their pairs in hand. So yeah, I'm really keen to see everybody getting their pairs seeing what they think about it and you know if they are going to rock them or flip them or keep them uh, on ice and dead stock i'm really excited to see what nike does with the nike dunk because obviously um they know the waves that you know the nike dunk law has been having in the mainstream fashion uh, in sneaker culture and basically the whole world in general like you know uh it's being compared to air jordan ones uh, and you know wearing it and it's being you know synonymous with uh the fashion trends of the modern day so nike has responded by releasing a ton of gr colorways that are set to be dropping in 2021 there's a ton of women's releases there's a ton of male releases and yeah there's a ton of uh, amazing concepts that nike has in store for the dunk line and i'm really excited for that because nike dunks are super versatile to wear and i think that's partly due to the reason why they're so successful they're so historical and they're so iconic and they're just an amazing sneaker to wear and you know to style with anything they're very versatile and can be worn with anything so i really do think that when people purchase these sneakers i do think that they'll get their use out of them you know they won't wear them once out of the whole entire rotation you know they'll have them as beaters they'll have them as statement pieces in their collection and yeah they're super versatile and culturally impactful as well also stacked that on with the cheap retail price some of the cheapest retail prices in the world you know with sneakers um you know at 100 usd that's amazing as well for what you get so going on with the detailing of these sneakers they feature a light gray upper with university red overlay sitting on top and i know what you guys are thinking these look identical to the off-white university red pair that virgil released alongside of his off-white you know nike dunk collection i am very excited that Ch nike chose to re-release this sneaker in more of an og format and more of a like you know an og nike dunk low i know in 2016 they released a unlv um nike dunk high uh, you know, and that's going for around like 450 to 500 to 600 Australian dollars. So, you know, that can foreshadow where these sneakers will go because I do think that uh, historically uh, Nike Dunk Lowe's have performed generally better than their high counterparts. I don't know why that is. Maybe more people like the highs. It's like in the Nike Air Force Ones. Everyone likes the lows and if you rock the mids, you know, it's kind of weird, isn't it? So anyway, Nike Dunk Lows in general are super wearable and, you know, people like to match them with their outfits and, you know, wear them. And these sneakers are no exception. With a nice basic colorway, like with red and light gray, I do think that these sneakers, for that reason, are going to be sought after by everyone. Like, you know, not just sneakerheads, but, you know, people in general who just like sneakers or like, you know, retro-styled shoes and just want to rock them, you know, to match their outfits or something like that. Um, yeah, for that reason, that's, again, another reason why nike dunk lows are super successful just because you don't need to be a sneaker it's a rock them as for where to get these sneakers these sneakers are going to be releasing on raffle right now like you know i think end is doing some raffles and it's kind of hard to pinpoint what stores are going to be having these and what date just because of the, that these sneakers are going to be postponed in some regions and all that so you know your standard uh shoe retailers that usually get a bulk of nike dunks should be getting these in stock and i also do think that stock levels with these shoes won't 
won't be incredibly low, but it won't be incredibly high either. They are GR, so you shouldn't have any problem trying to cop these if ever, if ever you know you cop online or in a in store if, if your stores are open for you know in store releases. But yeah, I don't think that the stock levels for these. I think they'll be like in a, in the normal um in the normal stock levels for Nike Dunks. Now let's talk about the segment that you've all been waiting for: the resale predictions and the investment potentials of these sneakers. Now if we bring up StockX real quick, we can suss out the current prices, the current market prices that these sneakers are going for. And I was pretty shocked because they were going for a price of around, uh, you know, 290 to around like 330 Australian dollars, which is sort of, uh, I guess it's sort of average for what Nike Dunk Lows go for nowadays. I know when the Syracuse, Kentuckys, when they released they were around 300, but then if you look at where they are now, they're like touching 800 Australian dollars. So they're going crazy with the demand. And you know, I think I put these in sort of a similar category to those sneakers. They're sort of inspired by the Nike Be True to Your School, where it's, you know, like a college or a high school um, inspired colorway. So, you know, obviously these are the UNLVs. Yeah, I do think that, you know, there's sort of some similarities with where these sneakers can go in the future. Um, I do think that they will sit for a couple of weeks for or maybe a month or two, and then they'll slowly have their rise up. And yeah, I just do think that these are going to be an amazing investment for the long term even with the midterm like when you know with a couple of months just like the Syracuse and the Kentuckys they just roasted astronomically high prices over a couple of months and I just do think that these sneakers are going to be having the same potential and I just really do think that Nike Dunks are one of the best investments right now they have such a high ROI and such a high retention value over the months as long as this Nike Dunk trend continues I do think that you know this is a very viable investment for the future i do think that these sneakers will touch around like 600 australian dollars within the next couple of months they'll settle for a few weeks or maybe a month or two and then they'll have their upwards trend you know to start you know from going from like 350 then to like 700 australian dollars so yeah with all that being said these are one of the best investments you should cop even if it's for resale price and yeah, if you do cop for retail you'll basically be like you know 5xing your money which is a good day all in all, the best sizes for these uh, sneakers, obviously the base sizes as well, Hype Bays and Sneaker Ed Girls are going to be loving these sneakers as well, just because it is another super wearable colorway. And also the men, the men will like to wear these sneakers. So uh, I think the larger sizes around sizes 9 to 12 will be a good investment if you want to go for more of these saturated and, go and get some cheaper pairs out there as well. But with all that being said, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, make sure to like the video and comment and make sure to subscribe we post you know regular content about these types of topics so make sure to go and get on board but yeah thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time take care peace